Hey guys, it's IG. I just want to throw out another quick video tonight. You know, I sit around, I get thoughts going through my head all the time. I'm sure you probably do too. Anyway, uh, the ones I was having tonight, I was sitting down, I'm just sitting around relaxing, and I started thinking about the, the poem and quotes and stuff like that. Got a lot of comments on uh, the last video I did, and I received actually received quite a bit of emails uh, about the video. But a lot of people seem to be hung up on a lot of these quotes and stuff. You know, I don't put too much into the quotes. And the reason why I don't is because, you know, a lot of the quotes, have you noticed that they, they start to contradict themselves? Even some of the quotes, uh, right off the start, they, they, they contradict themselves. You know, you read the quote that he gives, and it's neither a yes or a no answer, you know? It's, it's, it's like he says, it, like it takes you in a circle. But the main reason for this video tonight, it's going to be uh, basically about clue three and four. It's just something that I had going through my head, and it was... Kind of like I was talking about, the quotes contradict themselves. You know, quotes like, you know, he says, I know the treasure's wet, but then he turns around and says it's not underwater. You know, he says, I've never said that the treasure is buried, but he has said the treasure is buried. Here, listen to a couple of these. Pleased to be here. You bet. Was it about three years ago you first buried it or more recently? Well, something like that. I've, I'm 82 years old now, and I buried it uh, when I was either 79 or 80 years old. I, I can't tell you how many times I've thought about that. That's I, why I've told people that I buried the tre uh, that I hid the treasure chest when I was either 79 or 80 years old. You know, I, I know you guys have heard these before. I've I've got another video out about them. But you know, he'll say stuff like "never, never." I never said it was buried, or he'll tell people, "Don't say it's buried." Um, he said that in a recent uh, article about don't say it's buried or I'll shoot you with a dull bullet or something like that. Um, it just makes me wonder about a lot of these, a lot of these quotes. You know, when you're when you're live, you know, you're more prone to make mistakes or to miss, you know, not say things the the way you actually want to say them. And as opposed to like when he sends Jenny a quote, when he sends Jenny a quote, he's got time to think about what he's actually writing her but when he's being on the radio and he's being put on the spot and they're firing questions at him it, it's just he's he's thinking quick in his head and he's trying to get the answer out the best he can so quotes on the radio and stuff like that I don't pay a whole lot of attention to you know I keep them in mind and I do keep a record of them Another big one was the one about the pinion nuts. That one stirred a lot of controversy, and he did come out and make a correction on that, saying that he actually meant to say it, pine needles. Makes me wonder, you know, if he's made other mistakes. So that kind of brings me to the topic of this video. When I think about if he's made other mistakes, think about when he said that the first clue is warm water's hole. He actually said that in a live interview. And another thing about that one is he only said it one time. He's never said it again. So it makes me wonder if it could possibly be a misquote that he said over the radio and he's just never come out to correct because there hasn't been any controversy enough to make him want to correct it. You know, it's not just what he's saying when he says these quotes. It's, it's how he's saying the quotes when he does say them. Like, uh, let's take the Warm Waters Halt. Let's just say Warm Waters Halt was, was an error on his part in a live uh, interview. Let's say he actually meant to say that Warm Waters Halt is where you put boots on the ground. i got a recording here I want you to listen to. Uh, it's the recording from CBC Radio. It was uh, where he was being interviewed by Carol Off. Take a listen to, the, to this and then I'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more. There are nine clues in the poem and if you can figure out those clues, they will take you to the treasure chest and you can have it if you can find it. Well, some of them seem that some of the clues maybe are things that people locally would know. You say, begin it where warm waters halt and take it in the canyon down, not far, but too far to walk, put in below the home of Brown. That seems like a couple of clues to me. That, that sounds like three or four to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, but so that was pretty interesting, and I want to give you a little food for thought on this one. You know, either there's three or four clues in that one stanza, in stanza two, or Forrest could possibly have been saying that it's clue three or clue four. So beginning where Warm Waters Halt could possibly be clue three or clue four, or the whole stanza could be clues 
3 and 4. So if during that live interview Forrest didn't phrase Warm Waters Holt the way he intended to phrase it or he wanted to phrase it, that would change a lot of things. That would make, by the time you get to the second stanza, that you're already at clue 3 or clue 4. So either cl clues 1 and 2 could be in the first stanza, or they could even be further down, since there is some past tense and present tense in the poem. Now, Forrest did say that the clues are in consecutive order, but he also did say that the clues are in consecutive order after you have found Warm Water's Halt. Yeah, so that's my thoughts on the CBC radio interview with Forrest about the three and the four comment. I'm going to call it quits here for the night, everybody. In case I don't get another video out before Christmas, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.